Hello everyone, John Marshall, excuse me, John Marshall, the drill master. All right, we have composition analysis now for exhibition drill. Going to use the same, uh, same video. It was cut off a little bit there, unfortunately, but we can use it. Not a problem. This is just uh, about training. All right, and again, I'll be, I'll hit play, and then I'll hit play over here, <clears throat> so that I can uh, hear the video as well as watch it and uh, composition analysis here again for open class only uh, we're not going to do anything else um, read your uh, read your sheet reverse and I'll, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do is uh, I forgot about this I'll put the uh, the package the link into the package in the very first video I'll get that taken care of as, as quickly as possible all right so what we're going to do now composition analysis this is difficult, all right? I, I'm just going to be honest with you. <clears throat> this gets difficult. So we're going to look at construction of marching and equipment for this uh, performance. This is armed. Uh, construction of marching and equipment program. Now, boy, what does that mean? Well, you'll, you'll find out once you turn the sheet over this sheet the the reverse is the written standard so once you start reading the written standard then um, it's it's going to make a little more sense to you so characteristics detail and nuance we had that in the other captions um, um, but again i i was talking earlier about there's a slight overlap here and there and there needs to be a slight overlap we can't just completely uh, uh, divide everything with a knife <clears throat> and then staging design uh, sorry logical sequencing this is uh, and with this performance there is uh, mostly logical sequencing but then there's something kind of weird in there and we'll get to that uh, once it happens um, then staging design depth uh, use design elements and recognition. Uh, so you're you're going to, uh, and I need to make a, a separate video on that one as well. But uh, you're you're going to look at the the depth of the design as far as uh, the the layering of of uh, equipment movement over the marching, and then not only that, <clears throat> but the movement of the team. And what I mean, movement versus marching, movement is moves. Uh, doing an exhibition move such as blackout. Blackout is the, the ones and twos. And then, you know, they, they come forward, they split, they, they do that boxes of three uh, um, uh, pivot uh, between each other, uh, marching through each other. It's really quite a, a or even, uh, you know, any of the others, Delta, these other um moves that have been around since the 1950s and you can read about those in my first book then we have uh uh yeah then we have a staging uh, we get we did staging design depth equipment and body design depth now Staging design depth means where they are as far as the performance is concerned. Are they doing, uh, uh, are they away from the audience doing little work, little work, uh, uh, technical work with the rifle that the audience can't see? If they're far away from the audience, then, and this is unfortunately because they're, they're, they're uh, performing to a wall, unfortunately, but uh, uh, with no ability of the, of anybody to to watch the performance except from the rear which is very unfortunate but uh, uh the uh the the location of where they are the staging of where they are so think of the the drill deck as a stage and where are they and how are they performing during, during that that, that, that time. time so, so then, then we, we have equipment, equipment and body depth, depth and design, design. so, so Equad, uh, uh, equipment obviously they're, they're using, using the rifle, rifle. Um, how how deep of the design for the rifle does it go is there line shape and balance texture and emphasis negative positive space so negative positive space uh, this is negative space 
This, this is positive space. space. So, so imagine, imagine my fist being, let's say, 16 members of a drill, drill team, and they're all lined up for here, for here, for here, for here. That's that's negative, or that's positive space. Now, imagine all of the team coming out, and there are, there's four here, four here, four here, and four here. That is negative space. So there's different variations of that, but that's a general overview of that. So texture and emphasis. Texture, this is, these are kind of uh, 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 almost esoteric terms, but we need to learn them in order to properly look at a performance and say, ah, okay, so I see the texture that you're going for. Is it tough and rigid, or is it a little more smooth and flowing? And you can have elements of both, or you can just have one uh, at one time, uh, or and then one uh, at another time, uh, intermixed or just completely rough and sharp and and impactful the entire time. Uh, many soloists work that way. Also, uh, they'll have the, the different textures in there. Um, it is, and then the uh, the emphasis of the rifle work, the emphasis of the marching, uh, line shape and balance. That is uh, more of if you if you remember in the first video for overall effect I, I noticed the the rifle barrel went to the left the uh, uh, the the right leg was brought out so that there was a line straight across the body that went from the rifle ended at the toe that was great so I'm going to look at that I looked at it for overall effect because it had an overall effect it, it was something that I noticed as an audience member and now and I reacted to that now I'm going to analyze that. I know, it's, just, it's almost like splitting hairs, and, and I get it if you have a little bit of uh, trepidation about that. So then we're going to have, uh, we're going to talk about the orchestration of the triad, and uh, be, be specific in what and how orchestration is being generated. I'm going to have to go into the triad of uh, the intellectual, aesthetic, and emotional effects there. But you, you can design these effects into a performance. It's... Uh, uh, once you understand them fully, then you can think of ways to actually put these these effects into the performance. So, um, and then there's horizontal and vertical orchestration. There's a lot of horizontal and vertical things in a performance. So remember, horizontal is what's happening over time. Vertical is what's happening at that moment, at that moment, at that moment. Now, sometimes you can, let's say that the, the team does port spins. We'll just take port spins, for instance. Just a, a simple twist of the rifle over once. That's it. Just right over the hand, the rifle comes around, and, they, and it's caught. So you can have a, a port spin done. This is vertical uh, orchestration. And then horizontal orchestration is different port spins, a variation on the port spins. Uh, which uh, you'd have to really think. Portsmouth is a very basic move that, that really doesn't have much of a uh, access to variation or much ability for variation, but it can be done. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that somebody out there has done it before. Uh, so we're, we're, we look at the, the variation in that, it, and it's part of the orchestration. And I know orchestration is probably going to send some people into, well, well he's, he's talking about uh, other, other pageantry arts, orchestration is marching band and drum corps. No, just, just relax, take a deep breath. Orchestration means the creation of what you're seeing. That's all. It's the com. It's just like the, the word composition. You know, it's it's a composition. It's a it's a routine. All right, and then down at the bottom we have achievement of space, including coverage, alignment, and timing or and orientation. So the team can be here. Uh, it, it can uh, achievement of space. So it can be at normal interval. It can be at different staggered intervals whether straight or, or staggered in the in the formation or it has staggered intervals uh it can be double triple quadruple interval 
coverage of the floor, but then also how is it oriented as well, and where is it as far as uh, the location on on the deck? And and I know this is these are things that people really don't think of, uh, and I understand that. You know, I, when I first started, I didn't think of these things at all. It just wasn't in my uh, my personal vocabulary to 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 uh, uh, judge like this. So I had to be trained to judge like this. Yep, we've got to be trained to judge. Just because you drew, you graduate basic training or boot camp doesn't mean that you are now qualified to judge military drill. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Anybody can judge military drill. There's many civilians out in the United States, even around the world, who are really interested in marching. And, and sometimes they join Civil Air Patrol or Sea Cadets or, or volunteer with whatever organization. And then eventually they might even become coaches. There are civilian coaches for junior ROTC drill teams. They're all over the place. And so there you go. There's, there's some judges there. And they need, we all need training. Absolutely, we all need training. And they didn't even graduate basic training or boot camp. All right, then, uh, let's see. Achievement of dynamic gradations and effort qualities. So, <clears throat> as I was talking about before, port spins. When we get into single, double, triple, uh, we're, we're, we're talking about exchanges, things like that. These are uh, uh, the effort qualities. Uh, is, is it difficult to perform this, and yet an effortless, uh, an effort, effortless uh, um body stance and an effortless look on the face or is there uh the is there effort shown you know you're really trying to <clears throat> to get this rifle uh to do what it's supposed to do at that time um then uh definition and of and adherence to style in equipment and movement so we have adherence uh uh, there is definite definition and adherence to the style that the team uh, performs here. Training to include concentration, stamina, and recovery. I think that speaks for itself. Accuracy and definition. That is the, the clarity of the... We all communicate. This is all about communication. <clears throat> so the, the team is communicating on a visual level. Uh, through this performance and uh, that's what we're looking for accuracy and definition if it's inaccurate there's muddy communication it's not as clear as it could be and uh, uh, there's a, uh, and I forget the, uh, the difference between accuracy and definition um, <clears throat> oh, crud sorry about that there's actually a YouTube uh, on the uh, on that subject uh, that specific subject I'll try and find that all right, then orientation, uh, body and in drill area. Um, so we had an orientation. All right, so I need to, so we have at the top here, we have achievement of space, including floor, floor coverage, alignment, timing, and orientation. Then I have orientation down here. I need to move that. So I'm glad I'm going through this. I will remove that. And then timing. Um, uh, our, is it just consistently, uh, you know, a 120 step the entire time, or is there a variation in there where the the team slows down, the team speeds up? Um, so we'll see that. We'll we'll have a look and and then we'll go through this sheet and and give a score. All right. So I'll press play. And I'll press play here. Right, so first I'm going to look at the construction of marching and equipment program. This is quite basic. There's nothing that really grabs my attention here. So um, the, this, is a, this is more of a, a box two beginning. Now, the, the, the spinning was great. It... it <clears throat> It works, but the uh, so 
the, the team is still in that platoon formation, the square box formation there, and, and or even block, you could say block formation. And so there's there's not really much of a, a of of an idea that, that creates impact here. And that's that's what we're really looking for is that idea to create that that impact. Um, still the team while the exchange is really really good I, I, I very much appreciate that um, I, still there's uh, it's just very basic staying in in platoon formation just that block formation constantly so we have the team marching over, coming up, coming across the back. So we we'll, we'll <coughs> have a bit of uh, floor coverage. It's it's a, it's the the sequence here so far makes sense. It's logical sequencing. So this is a bit parochial as as coming up into the the. Uh, uh, the cordon, having that uh, extreme space in between the, the two, or the four lines, you know, the, the two sections there, and having the back section have to, having to come up. So, Explores some different movement, uh, creating more floor coverage here, which is great. The the, the movement works uh, quite well. But still, comes back to the block formation, to the rear. This is all then back down to that parochial level, coming to a halt. It. it there's just a there's a lack of design of consistent design so there's design and then block design and block the, the performance is is flowing but it's still design block design block and here they're in block they, they designed the the movement into the cordon but then back to block formation And the commander is not really integrated at all. Just moving back and forth. And I understand moving out of the way uh, to allow the, the audience to see the uh, performance. And I appreciate that. Still, it's just very, very basic. So working with some negative space in there, that, that separation uh, of the... The, uh, the ranks and then back to positive space but it was just a very small sample and here we've got some negative space work as well a different way to move into a, a, a cordon so then the, the so let's uh, uh, we'll move down to equipment and and body design here, and this is just a few more seconds here, and it's finished. Um, all right, so yeah, it'll it'll end on its own. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk about equipment and body design and depth. So we've got. We had line and shape there. We had some balance as well. So line was, it, it was still, it was still, uh, uh, the, the, we had body line, but still the, the, the formation in a block, which it, it detracts from the, uh, 
what they did earlier. So they're they're dead center on the judge, really close. And you know it'd be great if the whole deck was turned around so they could be dead center on the the audience. But so they they're really close to the the audience in this case, and they're they're performing the little the flash moves. Remember, uh, just not too long ago, I started posting about flash, rifle flash, body flash. These are little movements that emphasize uh, other movement. Uh, you can move the rifle and the foot. You can move the rifle and the knee or the whole leg or whatever. So line, shape, and balance, this is this is the integration of all those three at that per particular time. And it worked really uh, quite well. But then again, I'm, I was saying that the, the block formation detracts from that. So there's a little bit of texture in that uh, uh, with uh, the, uh, uh, the team performing the flash movement uh, it, but it was just a little bit of texture in there um, and it, it added some effort evident or emphasis sorry with the team being so far forward that was good um, again orientation of the deck lousy uh, that's not the team's fault so the we're going back to construction of marching and equipment program so we have that um, uh, we have that uh, uh, an idea of where the team should be for these little specific uh, intricate movements and then they did work a little bit with positive and negative space there so uh, there was some uh, some work there but but they didn't really explore it all that much and then orchestration of the of the triad the intellectual aesthetic and emotional effects so um, it was uh, more just aesthetic effects constantly uh, which is okay I mean this is a uh, this is more of a uh, a usual this is definitely for composition analysis this is uh, uh, a, a low I'd say a, a 19 a score of 19 out of 50 a low box 3 performance uh, so horizontal and vertical in, uh, orchestration is is there uh, but the uh, uh, the integration of the two happens uh, with the the team moving out in different directions, um, but that's very seldom. Uh, the team is mostly together, so uh, the it, it's it's vertically it happens every once in a while. As far as the uh, as effects go with the, the triad of effects and there's there's not really a an intellectual type like so I'll, let me back up there was an, a little bit of an intellectual effect there when they went to the modified parade rest looked down to the left that's a little bit of an uh, uh, an aesthetic maybe even emotional effect but there was an intellect I, well, I, I'd say more of an you know, emotional effect the next time they went to parade rest and the team then rippled to turn around and went to that parade rest with the rifle behind them and looking at the left. So uh, the looking at the left was uh, an interesting addition, but looking at the left, having the left arm down, holding the rifle only, then that gave emphasis to that. And, and so there was an emotional effect there. So they have a, a couple of effects going. So, uh, and that's, that's, you know that's usual for low box three even getting into uh um uh, the high box three area and then we have down at the bottom here they did uh they had they had space uh, the spacing didn't work all that well for them all the time but they did have a a, a good deck coverage uh, they had the so I was talking about in overall effect they had two glaring open spaces here actually they had one uh, which was the uh, the back right stage right towards the back and then uh, uh, timing they 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 had uh, a, a variation in timing and then orientation they they worked that in uh, I think fairly well for for what they had. And then uh, uh, the dynamic gradations of effort qualities, I just don't think was there. Uh, 
because of the uh, uh, the minimal rifle work that they they did. Uh, it was minimal, and meaning it was just the uh, at a basic level. It still worked again for what they were doing. It still worked well. It was a uh, um, I I probably pushed them up into uh, probably a twenty two now for uh, uh, for box three. And then uh, accuracy and and definition. So accuracy for the for the rifle work they were doing for the the steps that they were performing as well. Not a lot of accuracy there. You could see lots of variation throughout. So it it impacts uh, the effectiveness of what they were performing. And then uh, uh, I've got orientation in there twice. So timing. They had a. Uh, uh, a couple of uh, of uh, instances where they slowed or even sped up the timing. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say a good a good twenty two. So they're right in the middle of box three, and uh, so for the for the what, then um, for the what I was talking about a a, a seventeen or so, and then for the the how. I'd get them up to a 22. So they're, they're, <clears throat> uh, remember then along the, the bottom, the sub caption spreads, the, the, the split means something, the split in numbers. So I've got the what at a lower level and then the how at a higher level, which should communicate to them that they need to, uh, they need to up their game and create more what in there. They're 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 mastering. They're beginning to master what they're performing, and they're achieving more than what the uh, the performance is, uh, what they're presenting. So, and that's a good thing. That's fine. That means that they need to then add to the routine and keep building and keep building and keep building. That's fine. When the scores are split the other way, when this is the what and this is the how with it being lower, then that means that they still need to practice and bring that what up, and then they can start to, <clears throat> excuse me, they can start to move and, and improve. All right, so that's composition analysis. I know that it this can be a pretty tough one to uh, to deal with. It took me a time, honestly, to, uh, to work through, and I'll make these uh, changes to the sheets I'm really glad that uh, that you you're watching. I I hope that uh, this system can be implemented and everybody can get behind it. And I mean everybody who is uh, in the the military drill world. This is something that has been needed for a long time. All right. Thank you very much. Next will be movement. Bye.